Now indeed it is 70 degree weather today. I've been enjoying this. Is, is this going to last? Oh, Curtis, unfortunately, it's not going to last because we have rain moving in as soon as tonight. But I hope you've been able to enjoy that weather today because, again, it's been really nice outside. We've reached temperatures close to 80 degrees. It's been insane. It is insane. I mean, I matched my sunglasses to this tie today because it's been a brilliant day, but it's going to be colder now. Yeah, so actually, as we head the Athens City Council held a meeting yesterday that took quite a volatile turn. I have Nick Veland joining us outside of the city building to discuss what happened last night. A Georgetown man has been charged in connection to an armed robbery and assault. The Georgetown County Sheriff's Office say 28-year-old Javante Rogers was arrested after a foot chase led to a standoff. Rogers is accused of using a firearm to rob two people in a vehicle on McDonald Road to give him a ride Friday night. New details describing the moments leading up to Thursday's exchange of gunfire and a multi-hour manhunt in North Myrtle Beach. We've also learned Alston's new charges, as well as his criminal history. Ashley Bowles has the latest. It's been more than 100 days since the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, and as the midterms draw closer, some Democrats are urging abortion rights advocates to vote. Amy Kiley reports how abortion is playing a role in this year's election. Excellent work as always, Aaron. Thank you. Now, cooler weather and shorter days mean that more deer are now venturing into Ohio's roadways. The number of deer vehicle collisions increased over October and peaks in November and December. NASA astronaut Mark Vandehey and two Russian cosmonauts who were on the Soyuz MS-19 spacecraft are back on Earth and in good shape. The craft landed in Kazakhstan Wednesday morning local time. Recovery crews were on hand to help the crew get out of the capsule, and the three astronauts will soon be heading to their native countries. A group of parents and students are suing the Cable County School District for allowing an evangelical preacher to hold a religious revival assembly during the school day. This occurred earlier this month at an assembly that was required for some students to attend. I'm Andre Norris. And I'm Curtis Fader. Stay tuned for the PBS NewsHour coming up next. And remember, you can find the latest news anytime at wab.org. Have a great night.